Okay, we are so grateful to the Lord that we completed 2020. In the middle of the pandemic, God has kept us free. Hallelujah, because Jesus came to set us free. Amen. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed, but we are so grateful that God has been so faithful to us all through this 2020. Amen. After I share, we are going to, uh, you know, um, just express our gratitude to the Lord, what He has done. But before that, I just wanted to go through some scriptures that will tell us what happens when we praise the Lord. Amen. What happens when we thank the Lord? So, Father, I pray that tonight's, oh God, message will reverberate, oh God, in our hearts from this time onwards forever, Lord. As Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Yes, Lord, you have done so much for us in 2020. You will never forget, Lord God. You loaded us with benefits. Every day of mercy was near. God, we thank you. I don't know, Lord, how many million times the devil would have wanted to destroy us, but you, Lord, protected us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your graciousness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your, oh God, unconditional love. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Talk to us, Lord. Thank Encourage you, us through your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, number one, whatever we are doing, Hallelujah. the Bible encourages to do the will of God. Amen. It's the most important thing to uh, you know understand as a believer, the only thing that we need to do on this side, you know, before going to heaven is to do the will of God. Hallelujah. Nothing else. Hallelujah. So that means my Bible tells in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 the Bible says <clears throat> that it is the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. For everything. Amen. Because everything works together for good for those who love God. Amen. In other words there's no circumstances that we cannot give thanks to the Lord. Right. You know any circumstances good. and it may be good in terms of human you know Logic, it might be bad in terms of human perspective. No matter what, Bible says finally it'll end up for you good if you trust me and give you thanks. So that is the will of God in Christ Jesus. That is the greatest privilege as believers because only through Christ Jesus we have victory. Amen. Amen. We are overcomers through Christ Jesus. That's the reason the Bible tells here in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. If you know really what Jesus did. On the cross, then only you'll be having a heart of gratitude to give him thanks. That's the reason the Bible is very clear. The will of God in Christ Jesus for you is what? To give thanks. To give thanks. Amen? Amen. And not only that, you know, uh, Hebrews chapter 13 clearly says, you know, those days it has been so much, uh, you know, all kinds of blood offerings, you know, peace offerings, grain offerings, and thanksgiving offering. There's a separate offering called thanksgiving offering. So for that we need to bring this bull, that bull, and so many regulations. But praise God, Jesus did it all, all the, on the cross. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. Therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. This is, this is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. In other words, in the, in the Passion Translation it says we will give continuous blood sacrifice. When we give thanks to the Lord. It is a fruit of our lips. Yeah. The very reason God has given us some lips is to give him thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this is so important as believers in everything we have to give thanks. Amen. That is the will of God. And we are giving thanks. That is a fruit of our lips. It's a continuous sacrifice unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So my, I'm interested to know what happens when we begin to give thanks. You ready for it? Amen. Number one. When we give thanks, we acknowledge that He is God. Amen. And He is capable of coming through for us in any situation and in every situation. That is what it really means when you give thanks to the Lord. Yes. Okay? When you give thanks to the Lord, you acknowledge that He is a sovereign God. He is over everything. He is above all your circumstances. He is above all your difficulties that you are facing in your life. 
Amen. All your valley experiences, he is God and you acknowledge him. Amen. And give him thanks. When you give <coughs> thanks, you acknowledge that he is God. Glory to God. Amen. So how many of you understand that as soon as you give thanks, you're just proclaiming to the heavenlies, my God is a sovereign God. Amen. And he can take care of everything. So in advance, I give you thanks. Amen. Amen. Number two. When you give thanks, it brings a stir in the spiritual realm. You stir up the spiritual realm when you give thanks. Because the battle belongs to God. The Bible is clear. We don't need to battle any, any battles because Jesus has already battled everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So when you give thanks, you're really stirring up the spiritual realm because the battle belongs to God and you're really increasing, releasing a spiritual ambush against the devil when you give thanks. How do you know that? Let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. It's a great portion of scripture. It's a familiar portion for all of us. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. There's a story of Jehoshaphat, the great story. So many kings came against him. So he went to God and he humbled himself and prayed and sought the Lord. And God spoke to him through a, through a prophet. And he said, this is what you need to do. The battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God. This is what you need to do. Just praise the Lord and everything will be good. You don't need to do the battle because we, not, we as believers, we do not fight against, in our, our fight is not against the flesh and blood. Amen. Right? Amen. So we release a spiritual ambush when we begin to give thanks to God. Okay. So this is what the answer was when he sought the Lord and God uh, told him this is what you need to do. Okay. Verse uh, 17. This is the word of the Lord came to him. You will not need to fight in this battle. Hallelujah. First thing we need to understand, you don't need to fight any battle. That's right. What you got to do? Position yourself. How do you position? By giving thanks. Position yourself. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem? Do not fear or be dismayed. Just tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what happened? They went out, as exactly told by the prophet. Verse 20. So they rose early in the morning and went out in the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe his prophets, and you shall prosper. And yet consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord and who should praise the beauty of holiness as they went before the army. And we're saying this, praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord, thank the Lord and his mercy endures forever. What happened? Verse 20 is key. When they begin to sing and thank and praise the Lord, the Lord set ambush against the people of Ammon, and Moab and Sia who had come against them and they were defeated. They began to fight against each other. They were utterly destroyed. So the Lord set an ambush. Glory to God. So that's what happens when we, when we, you know, thank the Lord. The Lord steers up a spiritual realm Hallelujah. and the demons are fleeing here and there. They don't know what to do Amen. because our bite is not, in, you know, not against flesh and blood. It's in the spiritual realm through the weapons of warfare. Amen. One of the greatest weapons is thanksgiving and praise. And the Bible tells through the praises of the babies, the devil is silenced. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Number three, I'm going to pick up some thanksgiving from the Jesus, the Lord, our Savior himself. Hallelujah. So Matthew chapter 11, 25. When you begin to thank God, okay, the revelations will break through. When you thank God continuously, whenever you remember, whatever you are doing, just take a second and give thanks to the Lord. What happens? The revelations break through. Hallelujah. So you don't know what to do in a situation. The best thing is to just go before the Lord and thank him and praise him. The Lord will give you some inputs. Amen. Begin to worship him in spirit and truth. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 11, 25. That's what Jesus said. When he thanked God for some reason. There's a reason for he was thanking God in this portion of the scripture. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. Hallelujah. And the time Jesus answered and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and poor and have revealed them to the babes. 
Revelation. Yeah. Supernatural revelation breaks through when you begin to give thanks to the Lord. So Jesus said, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. These people who called themselves as wise and, you know, all experts, you didn't reveal to them the revelation, supernatural, you know, the, the heart of God, our knowledge for a situation, but you release them to them. So I thank you, God. I believe the moment that God is thanking them, God is releasing yes. revelation, glory to God. Amen? Amen. So that is important. So number one, we saw when we thank God, we are acknowledging His sovereign God is above every situation. It will come through for us. And number two, when you thank God, you stir up the spiritual realm and the wrong releases an ambush yes. against the demon forces that's coming against you. And number three, revelations break through when you begin to give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. And number four, when you, bring, when you give thanks to the Lord, it brings multiplication of the spiritual realm. Supernatural begins to break through. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 15 verse 36. Matthew chapter 15 verse 36. Here we see there's a situation. The thousands of them gathered to hear Jesus. And it was so much time gone by. They don't have nothing to eat. So Jesus asked them to sit down. And did this. What did he do? Matthew chapter 15 verse 36. Hallelujah. Giving thanks bring multiplication. Verse 36. So he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground and he took the seven loaves and fish and gave thanks to the Father. Hallelujah. The moment he began to give thanks for the seven loaves, multiplication began to happen. And they were fed thoroughly and they were left over with seven large baskets full of fragments. Hallelujah. Multiplication happens when you begin to give thanks to the Lord. And not only one time, the second time, you know, Two times he did. The five rolls of bread multiplied for many. What, what did he do? He gave thanks, taking up the bread. Hallelujah. So when you thank God, multiplication happens. And that's what happens even when we take a meal. And what did Jesus do? He took the bread and thanked the Lord and broke and said, This is my body broken for you. Hallelujah. Spiritual power multiplied when you thank God for the body of Jesus Christ. And when you thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ, as Jesus said, glory to God, all the heavens will back you up. Nothing will touch you. the blood of Jesus. The redemption power of the blood of Jesus will break through Amen. when you give thanks for the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number five. I believe this is for you and me as the final generation. Those who look forward for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and their complete redemption will always give thanks to the Lord. Hallelujah. When you give thanks to the Lord, looking up for the redemption is near, what do you do? You are looking forward for His coming and you are not only really looking forward, the Lord Himself will steer your heart to do something to accelerate His coming. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Luke chapter 2 verse 38. Luke chapter 2 verse 38. Luke chapter 2 verse 38. Here we see the story of Jesus coming to the earth. And what happens? There are several characters there. They have been waiting for the Messiah to come. So faithfully. They were tearing for years and decades. Mm -hmm. Finally, Lord Jesus arrived. And what happened? Verse 28. Anna. The prophet is the daughter of Penuel of the tribes of Asher. Luke chapter 2 verse 36 to 38. She was of great age and had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years. Oh Lord. Wow. For decades she was in the temple. Who did not depart from the temple but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. Amen. And coming in the instant she gave thanks to the Lord. Because she saw the Messiah. Yes. She saw the Redeemer of Israel. Hallelujah. And spoke to him to all those who look for redemption in Jerusalem. Are you looking for redemption in Jerusalem? It happens only when Jesus is sure the Messiah. Who will come back to Jerusalem and will rule the nations. As we as the end time army we are waiting on the Lord. So we give thanks to the Lord for Messiah is going to come back very very soon. Amen. 
So those who look forward to the redemption will be thankful in their hearts. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I love this. Number six. When you give thanks to God, it releases resurrection power. Hallelujah. When you give thanks to the Lord, it releases resurrection power to the dead situation you are facing. I don't know what you're facing today. But my Bible says, when you thank God, the revelation, the resurrection power hits your body, hits your finances, yeah. any dead area. That's what Jesus did when he raised Lazarus from the dead. John chapter 11, verse 4. Hallelujah. John chapter 11, verse 4. Glory to the living God. We know the story. Lazarus was dead and gone and he was in the tomb for four days. And the sisters were complaining about Jesus. If you would have been with us, you wouldn't have died. And now he's stinking. Mm. He might be stinking now. But they don't know whom they're talking to. And they said, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I am here, the life and the resurrection. Don't worry. Amen. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So don't worry, sisters. Hallelujah. What did Jesus do? Glory to God. Verse 41. No matter what the situation is. When you are thankful to the Lord, he will break you for us. Amen. Verse 41. Verse 40. We'll begin from verse 40. Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying. And Jesus lifted his eyes to where? To the Father and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. The moment he said, Father, I thank you, the resurrection power of God began to flow through Lazarus. And I know that you always hear me, but because of the people who are standing by eyesight, this that they may believe that you sent me. Loose him and let him go. Lazarus, come forth. Yes. The moment Jesus said, thank you, Father, Thank you, Father, for your will being done. The moment he said that the resurrection power mm. hit Lazarus. Glory to God. You know, I've been there to the Lazarus place, the tomb of Lazarus. I've done a television program actually from there long back. I'm telling you that place is special. Hallelujah. The resurrection power of God flows through when you say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Just see a dead situation in your life, in your family, whatever is happening, in your finances, in your body, or whatever it is, just thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That you're touching everything that's dead in my life. Yes. Yeah. The resurrection power will go forth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. With all this in mind, we are going to read Psalm 107. It's a great place that emphasizes giving thanks to the Lord. Psalm 107. Year 2020 has come to an end. This year has been a year like no other. The pandemic was there. Everything was looking bad, but our God, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our God has set us free. Yes. And he is setting us apart so that he can show the entire world that we are his children. Amen. 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 Psalm 107 verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. Oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. I wonder if we wandered in the wilderness before Jesus Christ. And verse 8 says, Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Oh, oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord. So many places in the scripture, many times it mentioned, Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness okay. and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Yes. Glory to God. He has sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their distractions. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. Glory to God. God is so good to us. Amen. And we got to completely just surrender to him and always be thankful to him. He says again here, 
Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the assembly of the people and praise him in the company of the elders. Glory to God. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. Verse 43 ends this way. Whoever is wise will observe these things. Why are we doing this today? We are wise. We observe what God has done for us all through 2020. Not only 2020, even just all through our life. Whoever is wise will observe these things and they will understand the loving kindness of the Lord. How many of you understand the season? It's very difficult for so many people, especially those who don't know Jesus Amen. and those who don't understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Amen. Oh, that men will rise up and give thanks to the Lord. Those who are watching me on the video online, I pray that you will do the same. That you'll give thanks to the Lord for every instance, any problem, anything that comes through in your life. All these things I taught you today will release such a power into your life. Amen. May the Lord bless us all. And as we enter into 2021, in a few days, God is going to go before us as he always does. And 2021 is a year that will never, we will never forget. Because if you are in Jesus Christ, it's going to make a big difference. It's going to make a big difference because people are going to come to you for answer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the year before we enter into 2021. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo!